Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about why isn't trade 3 infinite or why is trade 3 not infinite. This is something that is uh, frequently asked by people or commenters or online uh, because trade 3 seemingly is so 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 big, so much bigger than Graham's number or something like that. And why is it not infinite in that case? So first of all, before we try to answer this question, uh, let me ask you this. So is this function possible? So first of all, this function has to be computable. So f1 is 1, f2 is 3, f3 is infinity, f4 is infinity and f5 and so on and so forth they're all infinity so is this is such function possible uh, you know especially if it's a computable function i mean if it's a uncomputable function this is definitely possible i'm going to tell you right now because uncomputable means there's no algorithm to calculate or give an output of it so basically you can simply define each single um, each individual input and you can just define the output yourself that would be uh, a type or an example of an uncomputable function so you can just simply define f1 is 1, f2 is 3, f3 is infinity, f4 is infinity. In fact, you can even define f5 as, an fin as a finite number. Let's say f5 is 5, f6 is com in immediately uh, goes to infinity again. You can define whatever you want. That would be an, an uncomputable function. But what about if it's computable? So first of all, um, some commenter, a few of them, they immediately brought up circulation. Actually, I brought that up. People watch my one of my previous video. This is defined as a with infinite of a rows b. However, this is defined using the limits. So limits, of course, it means you are approaching something but not exactly reaching it. So there's a little bit of rule over here. So you cannot just say a infinite with infinite up arrow b. It doesn't mean anything. It's kind of undefined with infinite number of up arrows because you can never reach infinite amount of up arrows. So this is everything. Every time you see something like that is just basically applying the limits. So if that's the case, f1 is 1, f2 is 4, and f3 is infinity. Uh, f4 is also infinity, so, uh, so on and so forth. So f1 and f2 is finite, and f3 and so on is infinity, but this is kind of using the limit. Um, I can think of another example, actually. So remember this infinite power tower, you know, x, 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 x to the power of x, blah, blah, blah. This one kind of fits in the definition as well, because if x is between e to the negative e and e to the 1 over e, it actually converged to a finite number, a pretty small finite number. So if your input is in between these numbers over here, you get a finite number. But however, if x is bigger than this, then it will diverge to infinity. If it's smaller than that, it will diverge. I mean, it will diverge to a number. It won't converge, basically. what uh, That's what it means. So we kind of satisfy this as well, but again, this is again using the limits because you can never reach infinity. You can never calculate the end result, something like that. So um, if it's a computable function, it has to have an algorithm either in mathematical uh, formula, you know, like something like that or that, or that would be a mathematical formula or even using just words, a set of instructions doesn't even have to be in mathematical, you know, kind of like the, um, you know, using words, you know, if one, if n is like that, you can define, but you cannot define every single one all the way to infinity. That would be an uncomputable function. So a computable function, if you, uh, the program has to be able to determine the result by itself, you know, given the set of instruction, um, a predetermined set of instruction. So therefore, I think it's pretty, I mean, I'm not sure, uh, of course, feel free to give, uh, provide. Uh, your suggestion or your comment, I mean, in the comment section, whether this is possible or not without using the limit or whatever, or try not to use infinity because here and here, of course, in order to get something like this, you have to involve infinity within your algorithm itself. You know, this is your infinity here in your function. 
and this is your infinity as well so if without using infinity in your function can this even be possible so anyway now let's look at because this this one definitely looks something like tree three some people their first thought after looking at this is tree three so is this even possible um i mean if it's a computable program or function uh i would say it's pretty hard to find something like that or hard to believe i think it's just more hard to believe in this than tree three being finite i mean it's easier to believe tree three is finite in that case uh, because i cannot think of anything like this with a algorithm that will output something like that if you know of course except these two over here so basically tree three well it's simply it is finite because it is stated in the course code tree theorem you know the theorem itself already states that uh tree k has to be finite for any k uh, i mean of course any positive integer k so it's already stated in the theorem so in order to prove tree three is uh is finite or tree four is finite you have to prove this theorem and of course um you know i'm pretty sure you have seen the number file video or some online article in order to prove the cruise code tree theorem um you have to use transfinite ordinals. I mean, if you try to use, uh, you know, finite arithmetic, something like that, and without the ordinals, just tree three itself, you have to use uh, something like two double arrow a thousand symbols, something like that, which is basically impossible in the physical world. So no one has ever done that. That means no one has ever proved tree three is finite using regular L arithmetic however you can use some um, transfinite ordinals to prove not just tree 3 but every tree n or tree k um, but basically be <laughs> using the same idea um, basically similar the proof is actually similar to the proof of Gustin sequence because you're using some transfinite ordinals um, to prove your theorem um, so basically using the transfinite induction principle of decreasing ordinal so again you can watch there's some good videos or online article about the Gustin theorem how why is it uh, finite tree three I think tree theorem is similar to that you can prove it's you know using the transfinite induction principle you can prove it is finite so it's similar to that indeed uh the same similar principle has been used to prove scg uh the scg function is finite as well and scg is grows even faster than tree so basically um and another thing to note that um it is of course you probably have heard of that uh this word over here, this phrase well quasi ordering so basically well quasi ordering of finite trees is what the cruise crow tree theorem uh proof or states so what this mean is that if um t kind of means tree so if t1 t2 t3 blah 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 blah, blah is an infinite sequence of finite trees then there exist i and j such that um i is smaller than j and ti is homophobic um, to the a subset of tj so ti has to be a kind of um, embedded in tj you know based on the definition of well quasi ordering and i is i mean j is bigger than i so we, what it means is that if uh, such sequence is well quasi ordering then ti must be embedded in tj um in some finite number of steps something like that that also kind of show that this sequence has to be finite otherwise you know it will be embedded uh at some point otherwise it's not well quasi ordering and um and also another thing you know remember in the tree game in the cave turn you are not allowed to play a tree with more than k notes and therefore you are never allowed to play an infinitely large tree so therefore your tree kind of you know can never even be infinite in size and then um another point to note that is that um the trees with well quasi order colors or some people call labels are themselves well quasi 
uh, order under embedding. And any finite infinite uh, sequence of tree must have two trees that are um, that such that the former is embeddable in the latter. So similar idea that I already talked about. And since the color in the definition of trees are well quasi order, no such sequence of trees can be infinite. And this is the same for SSCG and SCG as well. And lastly, um, you know, if you still don't quite understand, that's okay. I mean, the tree sequence, the tree theorem is pretty difficult to understand. It's hard to explain in layman terms, even for myself. There's a proof of it, but it's pretty difficult to understand as well. So, but again, if you still don't understand, then maybe think about this as well. So SEG and the loaders function, they're both computable. Well, it's said to be computable again, but, um, even those two functions which grows much 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 faster than tree they are still finite if the input k is finite so that may come uh you know you know of using those information you have you might uh, be able to tell why tree three or any tree k is finite because if it's not finite then how come these function grows faster than tree if, if those functions uh, have outputs that are also finite so but anyway it's a complicated thing to try to understand again I mean if you ask this question of course uh, is a good question actually I mean try I mean asking question is a way to learn so definitely um, I mean, it's a good question, but like for me, I would be even more surprised if tree three is infinite instead of finite. Or again, you know, try ask yourself why tree three is infinite. You know, if you try to ask that question, how can it be infinite? I mean, I think it's more difficult to have something like this than something to have a finite result. Um, but anyway, because tree is a game with certain rules, you cannot be embeddable in the um, next tree, something like that. So with a certain number of rules, such sequence cannot be infinite. So anyway, um, this is my video of it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.